let's directly jump into it. We will call up transaction SE37 first, and here we will insert the function module called BAPI underscore goods MVT underscore create. This is the BAPI, the standard BAPI delivered by SAP to create goods receipts. So then I click here on the test execute, that's F8 on your keyboard. And over here you can see we can insert a bunch of information. Just so that you know for sure no end user would ever execute this transaction. However, we can utilize the standard BAPI for instance to create a program with which we would then massively create goods receipts out of purchase orders. For now I just want to show you how we can actually test this, this BAPI beforehand. So we see here there are some import parameters and some tables. And for us we will start here with the goods movement header, which is the header detail information for the goods received we are going to post. For the header we click on this value sign over here and here you can see we can insert a bunch of information. It's always advisable to utilize the single entry over here that's you can click on this button or shift and F7 on your keyboard and yeah for now we only need a posting date today is the 16th of August 2022 and let's say the document date will be the same and this information is already sufficient for now for sure you can fill also other parameters over here but for now this is fine so I will click on save you can see this was inserted and then I click on back furthermore we will click on goods movement code so this is quite important we need to insert a specific two digit code over here for the goods movement and basically we can find all this code and let me open another session via SE16N so table view and it's table T158G just execute and here we can see for different transaction codes mapped to the GM code MB01 would be yeah, something equivalent to the MIGO transaction, so the goods received transaction code. So in that case, the GM code is 01. And we would use this code over here, like that. Now let's come to the tables, so the item data. Before we fill this, we want to create a goods received out of an existing purchase order, meaning that I will now call transaction code ME23 and to see yeah, to find one existing purchase order and here we already have one the 45 ending with a 6647 so this number I will copy because I created goods received out of an existing purchase order so now let's jump into this one also the single entry view and we can see we can fill a bunch of different information over here for us what is important right now in my example is the plant um, as I'm using a material group and not a material, we don't need to fill this right now. If you are, if you created a purchase order with respect to a single material, you would, you could fill this over here as well. Then we have the movement type, which is 101 for simple goods received out of a purchase order. We have the vendor. This one I would also need to copy from my purchase order and insert it over here. Then we have the quantity and the PO number, quite important. So this one will be copied also from, M from ME23 and transaction, like that. And then let's scroll down a bit. We have one more important parameter we must fill, which is the movement indicator. Yeah, and basically we can just input here one out of two parameters. One would be a B. This would be for goods received out of a purchase order. Or it could also be an F, which would be a goods received out of a production order. For now we have a purchase order, so we choose B over here. And this is basically it. Save as well. And then click on back. And now we are already finished. What we now need to do is we need to save this query over here. Just add a comment, 
grid movement test three save as is and that's it now access transaction code se37 again and before you click on anything just click on more function module execute test sequence and over here we insert our function module the barpy goods movement create and the barpy transaction commit because this one here will be the one we have already seen with our parameters already saved and this one here we need to execute afterwards or the, those need to, to be executed in a sequence because otherwise the values won't be written on the database. Let's execute this and let's load our already saved query here in the test data dictionary. Number three, double click. You can see it is now populated and I can execute. And once we executed that, you can see that the material document ending with a 3099 was generated successfully. Now all we need to do is click on back and then execute the barpy transaction commit over here. And now it's written to the database. We can also inspect this particular created document via the slash and migo transaction. Just click on display material document and then in that case insert the correct number, execute and we can see it's been created successfully.